All right, guys, it's No Skill Entertainment here. I don't know if you know us from our hot takes, but we got a couple of them. We're here to share at least one with you today, maybe two or nine if we're feeling dicey. But quick introductions. We got our lead editor, Drava, right here sitting on this side, having a good time, looking all dressed up for the club. Yeah, man. Fucking just here chilling, vibing, all ready in here to hear what you got to say. Hold up, we got a special guest appearance, and while he's a staff member, I treated his <laughs> guest appearance as Frazier has joined us for this yeah, week. Yeah, I crawled out from like the little cave I've been hiding in. Not a goblin cave, but anyways. No, um, I'm not that short. <laughs> ow, ow. Okay, wow. anyways, other hot takes aside. Um, so, I got into a little bit of a dispute at work the other day, and it long and short of it is, I don't think traditional bachelor parties are it any. I'm tired of the me and my friends got super drunk. We went to the strip club, blah, blah, blah. Maybe, maybe not happy ending. And then stumbling in your wedding day, completely hungover and potentially, and I'm not saying I've seen this, passing out and slam your head down all eight steps on the altar. I've definitely not seen that before from a family member who's six foot three with a neck tattoo that says made in Mexico. But I'm just saying it's a rough look and it's not what I agree with. But like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like what? Okay. Real quick. <laughs> Okay. Me personally, I, I kind of have to agree okay. with you. Not only am I okay. sick of that, I'm also sick of the stories and the bad shit that happens oh, God. at them. Not only that, I'm just not interested. Like I've, I'm 25. I have a strip mm -hmm. club near where I live. I have not been there. I have no mm -hmm. interest. I, I just, I don't you know. seem like a very hands off kind of person, and I get that. No, no, like I'm very just. <laughs> I'm very just. I like to give it to myself. And mm -hmm. going to a place like that does have I have no interest. Same with even bars. I mean, I've been to a couple, but even then, I'm just like, eh, I'll sit at the counter, maybe yeah. have a few drinks, and that's it. Right. And try to enjoy yourself. No craziness, because you can help me in this part. He oh, brought up dude, a good point. I can give you a story about the shit show at a bar that happened to me just because I was there. We're we're not talking, no, not the bar, the strip club. The one you know this story because <laughs> yes, I bars, or, sorry, strip clubs have horror stories. We, if we had DJ on here, this would be a four and a half hour long episode. Oh, yeah. oh, he's busy, and we don't want to uh, bore you guys with the nine hour anthology of why you should never go to a bar or a strip club. But you know the one I'm talking about. One of our buddies yes, got a little drunk the on the anime one. Yeah, I found the Amazon stripper and said, hey, my buddy likes it rough. And she beat the dog shit out of our friend for $225. <laughs> Dropping the fucking people's elbow, left Wolverine claws down his shirt, ripped his favorite fucking, um, oh, oh who was, was it? So pissed. His Nirvana shirt looked like it got attacked by a fucking saber tooth tiger. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tiger mom. <laughs> she came at him hot. And it ruined his night. And he didn't have a good time. And our other friends... One who, but who I don't think we've talked about on the podcast before. And then Mando come in stumbling. You'll never guess what happened. He got attacked by a fucking cougar. <laughs> he was, was not happy for the rest of that trip. He was so pissed. And then uh, we'll just gloss over the other one DJ told us. Where that one guy paid a lot of money for a private dance, and when the stripper oh. bent, when the stripper bent over to grab something, she coughed and just shit all over his nice dude oh, button up shirt. That is so <laughs> gross. I us that one. <laughs> That's so, so wild. Gross. Okay, so now imagine this: <sighs> you're at the club on your fucking the night of your bachelor party, and that happened. the night's ruined. Your friends are taking pictures. Somebody's crying. It's just not an ideal situation, in my opinion. No. Like, am I, do, no, you guys agree? If you're the best man, you put that in a slideshow for the wedding. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Josh Wolf over here. I was not invited to this wedding oh, as I ruined the bachelorette party or bachelor party and bachelorette party. But the best man, not me anymore. He did the speech with my honor. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. I, I don't know. I just feel like. It's not the vibe anymore. Like, at least for me, maybe I'm kind of old. I think, Brandon, you get it as well. So, hey, Frazier's a loose cannon. I'm, I don't trust his judgment. He can show up anywhere. <laughs> That's true. I have I almost went to a rave the other night. I looked at him and go, nope, dipped out before I could. Before I got through the door. <laughs> last, last possible second. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um. So, I pitched the counter offer of, you know, let's just put ourselves in the situation. Your wife gives you the pass to go do something crazy. Are you soon to be partner? Whoever. 
gives you the pass and a lot of money to just go do whatever you want for the weekend before you get married and have to settle down and dial things in. I think a dream range day with the boys is a way uh, better concept. Yeah. Like, could you imagine party van to the fucking range? Yeah, I definitely could. And I think that'd be an amazing th- bachelor party, in my opinion. You want to range soon the 50 cows, whatever the fuck you want. Either, yeah. Either that or going to like uh, like a giant arcade, you know, kind of like uh, the one was that like the Grand Sierra uh, resort, like just having a full day. You there, say like, that, just... but we still ended up shooting guns. It was VR, yeah. but we were on a full range. It's, yeah. it's just, I feel like it's like just, just a dude just thing like where you're just like, oh yeah, it's not the strip club. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh yeah, just. Still at arcades, still shooting guns, dudes being dudes at that point. So I pitched this idea at work because, of course, this is where we're having this conversation. And every old white guy in the company came out of the woodworks. Oh, son, I heard somebody say range day. So, like, are we talking like a, you know, Cabela's everyday range? Or are we going to go somewhere exotic, you know, get them fucking 50 BMGs incendiaries? We get some thir- or t- 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 tannerite. I don't know why I almost said thermite. They're not that sketchy. I, I'm just saying, fellas, like, this could be a cool concept. Let's play with this. Let's expand upon this. And I'm like, where are I've never met you before. Where the fuck did you come from? And they're like, hold on, hold on. I got to call somebody over here. All right, get over here. Like, there's 30 dudes in my stall, all pitching ideas. And then one of them says, you know what? Let's just take this bachelor party out of the situation. No one's got to get married. Let's see if we can swing this. Let's try to get it done this Saturday, maybe eight to nine. I got I got a schedule block <laughs> open for when I got a fucking doctor's appointment. When I got to go to from kid. potential bachelor party to, hey, we should hang out <laughs> on the weekend and do this. I mean, <laughs> it seems fun as shit, it does, in my though. opinion. It does. Uh, so, yeah. And I don't think I'm doing the idea justice. I think if we're really going to get there and like kind of expand upon this, I got to put you in the right mindset, sir. So would you mind? Yes. And all right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Kind of scared me, but you know what? We good. got my footing. So this is what I'm talking about. Nice. I'm not going to say quiet and calm place because in reality, there's usually like 80 other people here, oh, yeah. but it's fun. You can goof off. You could just be the bros, do the dumb shit. And like everybody, even the people who say they don't like them, everybody loves just popping down, popping rounds at the range. It's so much fun. I feel like this is peak male bonding. Like, it, oh, what yeah. do you guys think? This is oh, a better I, time. I love this type yeah, of stuff, definitely. especially since um, way back when I lived in like Arizona and New Mexico. Me and my dad mm-hmm. used to buy bullets, grab the rifles, just to go out in the middle of nowhere and just start shooting guns. And it was really fun. I've always enjoyed doing that kind of stuff. I think because of that, I found myself really just, one, bonding with my dad really well. And two, See? finding a love for firearms in general. It's just kind of guy stuff. Like they did, this is male bonding, you know. Just go out, and pop some lines off, share some deep words of wisdom with each other. Every once in a while, there's a fart joke somewhere in mixed in. And, yeah, you know, <laughs> have fun. We bond. We're just being bros. Young one, remember ah. always keep the safety off when pointed that way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to tell us. In, in our case, Sean, if you turn around and fire and aim down fucking safety one more time, it's go time. That or when I had to rip, but this is not on a gun range, but an archery range. I had to rip the bow out of someone, out of a kid's hand because he kept turning oh, around yeah. with it half drawn. Yeah. Really? Hey guys, is this my whole hand position? Ugh. Anyways, not getting caught yeah. up on memory lane. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I just think there's something fun about this where the guys can show up pick something they've kind of dreamed about shooting or get introduced to the hobby and you can just go blow off steam have fun really get out of way to work stress and you're not going to feel like hell the next morning you're not going to have the potential horrible shit show of i don't know someone getting assaulted by a dancer or a dancer defecating on them or the bachelorette party showing up and ruining everything this is you just grabbing what you kind of want to try and hanging out and popping rounds and making memories and before we like really commit to the bit Say you had to have this. Say you had that circumstance in life where I showed up and said, "Hey, we're doing range day tomorrow. What are you grabbing off the rack? What's going to be your shot of choice?" Well, I've always wanted to shoot an M4, like an actual M4. I never actually got to shoot one. I've got to shoot a, a shortened version, kid version of it when I was like, like a little one. But and plus, it was nine mil, not five five six. Oh, the little carbine ones. Yeah. So. 
I still think those are cool. Oh, yeah, it's cool, yeah. Yeah. But I definitely want to shoot not a the real, real thing. adult M4. Yeah. But and I think my bucket it's list not the weapon delete down there. I think my mm -hmm. bucket list weapon is a bear at 50 cal. Do you feel the kick of 50 BMG? I want to shoot a 50 cal <laughs> sniper rifle so bad. You know me and my sniper rifles. I love sniper rifles. My preferred firearm. Get some ADATS rounds. My guy, I can see you wiggling through VR. You're like January. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Frazier, if we if we have range day tomorrow, no skill, we got no budget. What what are you grabbing off the shelf? Actually, I would be grabbing the M1 Grand because I've always wanted to shoot one. <laughs> He's got a That's good one. He's yep. waiting to hear the ping. Yep. Oh, and just because some one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, I also would love to one day shoot a Mosin the Gaunt. Mm. Mosin would be done. <laughs> an Oberes or a regular Mosin? Because of regular Nagant, standard <laughs> no, like issue. You don't want the nine foot fireball on your shorty Mosin. <laughs> Just the <laughs> standard issue. No Mosin Nagant, probably one made back in the war, you know, something uh -huh. traditional. Because uh -huh. even after the war, it was in service for so long because it's such a good rifle. It's a really good rifle. It's a, a really, really good, good rifle. rifle. See, like, this is how good of an idea this is. Everybody's already talking about history and talking about hobby. And they've got their choices. Oh, yeah. like, this is just, everyone's smiling. I can just feel it. Oh, yeah. The audience can see it, too. <laughs> everyone's fucking smiling. It, e. It's just it's just peak <laughs> male bonding, man. And if there, if we could do this tomorrow, Smith & Wesson has a brand new 44 mag lever action long rifle. Oh, man, that just seems like cowboy heaven. I just want to dig into that bad boy and just let it rip down range. I would see, so, I could see you trying to do that whole lever action like spin twist to like reload it as well. Oh, <laughs> oh my, I'm, I'm, my arms are too short. Oh, I, I hit myself would. right in the forehead. I think I'd be able to do it barely. I don't have that long of arms. You but start from like you start from like down like by like yeah like by your waist like over here and you just spin it up. spin it up yeah like that like kind of like come across the act. Yeah, I couldn't do that. If I did that, I'd be touching the ground. You know, I'm. Like, oh, one thing I, I would. Love to one day just mm -hmm. grab a six shooter and spin the cartridge and flip it in. Done that. Like a fucking the, uh, cowboy. <laughs> oh yeah, no, my uh, my dad had a 357 Magnum. I got to take it out to the range. I did that while I was like finished shooting, and I literally just popped it open and then just spun it to lose uh like spin out all the spent shells. <laughs> spin out the shells this he said, "Yeehaw, chuckle fucks, bam, bam, bam." I do. I'm yeah. all fucking giddy and shit yeah. right now. Like this is just a fun guy idea. And anybody who thinks, no, you don't get it. Blah blah blah. And you fucking beta male bullshit. You go go to your club. Get your dance. Puke up your margarita. Shut the fuck up, Todd. Yeah. We're heading to the range. <laughs> yeah, and I think this is how we should close this shit out, gentlemen. To arms. Yeah. Fuck Todd. Let's all go. Right. Fuck Todd. Uh, not Todd Howard, but fuck Todd in general.